Hello everyone. We are going to play Don't Starve today. I uh, said that I'd probably do that in my last little update video thing. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, if you don't know this game, it's like a survival game. You go around and uh, gather resources, try to survive. Let me turn the music a little more. Okay, there we go. Now I can hear myself. Um, so it's actually really fun. And I know Turtle hates this game, but hopefully won't automatically dislike it. I told him not to. So, let's get in. You'll kind of get the sense of what it is. Um, I don't know why I should play Rain or Giants. Rain or Giants? Oops. Um, sure, I guess so. I've never done that before. Um, because I want to, like, survive for a good amount of time, I'm gonna use Wilson. Like, I don't want to just kind of lose sanity. I always play with Willow, but here's Wilson. He's, like, one of the characters that you can play. He uh, has a beard. That's his only upside. <laughs> Otherwise, he's just pretty normal and has a good amount of health, you know. Uh, regular world, that's fine. And, uh, I guess we're doing Brain of Giants. I don't know it very well, so... I guess there are going to be some new things to me that I haven't thought about before. So let's do that. Um, I'm mainly doing that because Rain of Giants is just the new thing. So anyway, here's what happens in the beginning of the game. Your world gets created. And uh, sometimes this game can be a little scary. <laughs> like, I, I experience lots of quick heartbeats. But you'll see why later. Way later. Load up here soon. Okay, so as he said, the night's gonna come eventually. So we gotta find some stuff to eat. Uh, there's a butterfly. Cool, cool. Um, let's pick some berries. Okay, so looks like. What I know about Rain of Giants, this is an okay biome, but you don't want to chop down the trees, because they're scary. They, like, eat you. Chop them down. <laughs> I can see you, like, wondering. Okay, sweet. Flint. That's good. So, I forgot to tell you, if you're new to this game, what you do first is you gather resources. You just go around, find some resources like grass, twigs, you know, basic, basic stuff. And Flint, that's used to craft tools. Uh, you can pick up the flowers, but... Because I know what to do, I'm going to save that for later so that I can just keep my sanity up. You see these meters over here? This is your hunger, this is your health, and this is your sanity. Uh, sanity is like... How do I describe that? But, um, yeah, sanity. I mean, it just depends on how high your sanity is, on how sane you are, and how things look, how... Um, I don't exactly remember what it does. I haven't played this game in a while. I mean, I've gotten pretty far into it. Uh, you know, like 200 days or something on one world. Uh, I've survived 200 days in one of my worlds that I played. Uh, here, just keep on gathering this stuff. Uh, gather some berries. Bevy. Gotta get those bevies. Pick up some seeds. Uh, seeds, carrots, and berries are all good food to eat. Uh, here's a pine forest. Lumpy evergreen, actually. Oh, cool. And then here's this. Um, really? This is really sweet. So here are the beefalo. Uh, you, you probably heard about these if you heard anything about the game. They poop. So you pick up the poop, because it's actually really useful. Uh, yeah, you can also shave them for wool. Basically, you really want these guys around, and it's very lucky. Here's already the first artifact. Like, I got a very good spawn, I gotta say. Um, yeah, there's in this game, there are lots of rabbits. This is very true. So first, we're going to craft a trap. This is for, like, rabbits and such. Just place a trap near the hole, the rabbit hole, that is, and they're gonna walk out eventually and get stuck right in. So, keep on gathering. Pretty easy. Just gather your stuff. Um, yeah. You can have a max of, I think, 40 grass, so we're gonna get all that grass right now. But we should get plenty of it, because it's very useful. Uh, sticks are good, too. Unfortunately, we don't seem to have too many of those, and butterflies, you can kill those. She needs a weapon. So, you know what? Because I was able to find one piece of flint on the ground, I'm going to turn that into an axe. You just need one stick and one flint, and you can craft an axe. 
and uh, you do axe things with that. As in, it can be used for a weapon. So you can attack rabbits, except they're hard to kill. Oh, I actually got him. Sweet. Sometimes uh, the rabbits will come back, and then you can hit them at the right time. It's tough to do, but usually you just keep them in a trap like this. So when you catch a rabbit, check the trap, and you'll get a rabbit out of it. Just place the trap back down, it'll have a little less durability on it and such, but that's no big deal. So uh, since we're collected already, you can collect some poop. Um, right up here, this is the day and night cycle. Tells you how close you are to day and night, and that's really useful to have. Um, if you didn't already know, there is a multiplayer version of this game called Don't Starve Together. That's been airing on Steam a lot lately, you know, on sale all the time. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to play with your friends or something, it's really fun. You should get it. And anyway, here's our second piece of flint, so that's nice to find. Uh, the next thing we're going to craft with flint is a pickaxe. Which, you know, just two pieces of flint. So with that, we can get a pickaxe, and we'll do that later. I'm just going to collect the raw flint now. Um, here's some more saplings, so I need that. Collect some grass. Carrot, another sapling. There's a whole bunch of resources we set up. Okay, here we go to the grass. And, okay, I think we collected enough grass. And here's evening. So it's evening time. My sandy's gonna start to go down a little. Oh, there's a mole worm. Yeah, they're like moles that move under the ground. They're interesting, but I think they eat rocks. So we gotta pick up a splint. Oh, frame drops. That was weird. Okay, enough food. Uh, in this game, food deteriorates, so, like, it, it gets bad. It goes bad. Uh, you really want to watch out for that. So, anyway, we're going to start off uh, to chop some trees. Um, to find trees, what I have to do is open the map, so I press... A That's not the... Tab? Yes, okay. You press Tab, and you can see all around you what kind of stuff is, like, you know, around you. Um, I'm going to go down here and gather these trees, because there's no chance that some evil tree monster will spawn, which, yes, that does happen. This is a crazy game. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go do that. I've got enough grass. And walking on paths, like these, it makes you a lot faster. Well, not a lot, but it makes you a decent amount faster. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. Uh, here we go. Chopping down these trees. And you just hold down left click, and you can chop it down. There we go. Now you have logs, and a uh, stump, and we just got to get a couple of logs and find a place to settle down and we can be safe for the night. The first night's not very hard, but as time progresses it gets a little bit harder and harder. And uh, then you get into like winter, because there are seasons in this game, and winter is pretty tough. Um, I think that right now I'm in the fall stage, so like right after this is going to be the winter time. Uh, so for now... I'm going to set up near some sort of tree. Yeah, this should be good. Um, set up right around here. Next to the bees, I know. It's, it's not a big deal. Bees aren't going to hurt you during the night. And, uh, yeah, I'll set this up uh, right here. Ah, nice campfire. So now we have that. And that'll keep us warm during the night because you need to stay warm. Um, and now it's night time. So, if you venture outside of this circle of light, you're gonna die after just a few seconds. There's gonna be this monster, I think it's called Charlie, that kills you. And, uh, yeah, watch out for that. So anyway, we just gotta survive the night now. And, uh, I'm gonna chop down this tree. Because it's always good to have some more logs. Um, it's kind of a noisy night because the bees are right next to us. I don't know why they're still humming during the night. It's not really realistic, but whatever. This is not a realism game. Anyway, let's murder this rabbit. There we go. So now he turned into meat. And with this meat, we can cook it. But meat lasts a good amount of time. So first, I'm going to cook the berries. Um, I don't really think cooking berries does a whole lot for you. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, you just right-click that, and you can eat it. So you see I'm kind of losing some hunger right now. About half my hunger I have. Just right click and, and your meter fills up. And you don't have to worry as much. So you have to keep all of these in top condition. Um, this affects this. Pretty sure. Yeah, if you're low hunger, you start to starve, and that's not fun. Uh, when your fire starts to get low, you can add a log, but because night is so short and I'm like, know what to do, 
I'm just gonna chop down this tree, and you don't really need to add it, but if you want to, that's fine. Okay. So when I'm in the shadow, you can see the sandy goes down really fast, and I do not want that because sandy is something very good, and your game's a lot scary without it. So now I'm gonna rotate the map, which is like yes, so I can see this. Uh, you know, you, you play from kind of a top-down like angle. So if you want to see something that's like behind the tree, you just kind of rotate with Q and E. Um, anyway, we can get off to doing some things now. Another bright day. Time to go explore. And it's raining. Okay, so rain, rain's not a great thing in Rain of Giants. It's fine in regular mode, but in this mode you gotta watch out, because if you get too wet, things don't do go too well. Um, yeah, so if you stay under a tree, it'll help you, but I'm not going to spend my entire time under a tree. Like, uh, if it's only a small rain, it's not going to really affect you. It's just going to make you a little wet, and some of your items will get soggy. And that'll make your sandy go down, but it's not the big idea. It's not the biggest deal, you know. So, anyway, yeah, I'm not going to collect that, but I'm going to collect this. So today, what I want to do is, uh, first, turn down the volume. Just in case you can't hear me, I'm gonna put that down. Um, actually, one more thing. Um, the ambient, change that down to like seven. Yeah, or six. Okay. So now things aren't as loud, but you can probably still hear them. I'll have to test it in my, you know, in the video that I make. See what it's like. Um, collect some more poop, because we're doing that already. And, uh,. Looks like that was, indeed, a very short rain. So, the rain's over. Uh, we don't need to worry about that anymore. And here's a rock. Um, I didn't make a pickaxe yet, so I don't need to worry about that. But, yeah, rocks, that's good. What I want to look for now is these certain types of rocks that are gold rocks. They look like they're, they have little gold pieces in them. Okay, so here's your first enemy, the spider. If you walk on the web, the spider spawns. And they're no big deal. They, they hurt you if they bite you, but I'm not going to let them do that because health is precious. You can actually evade them by making them hit you, or not hit you, try to hit you, going away, hitting them again, making them do the same thing. There we go. So after that I got some monster meat. Now that may be like, oh yeah, something to eat, but it's actually really bad. Like, you do not want to have monster meat on you. Or, you, you can have it on you, just don't eat it. It really hurts you. It destroys your sanity. It's not a good thing to have. But if you are absolutely starving, go ahead. It's no big deal. I mean, well, it is, but don't worry too much. Um, these rabbits, I could get one of them. Let's try and get this guy. Oh, that's close. Uh, nope. Uh, so, yeah, just gonna explore more, filling out my map. Making sure I know what's around me, just get better surroundings. Dang it. Could have gotten him. Sometimes you get lucky and you, you get him like I did in the beginning there. Um, my sanity's still good. Um, there's that little rabbit. Just gonna keep circling around. I know that seems kind of boring, but gotta do it. Look some more grass, because you can never have enough of this stuff. Grass is a resource that you run out of very quickly. Okay, how about we kill this guy? Dang it. So, yeah. Um,. I'm gonna keep doing this. Going around, collecting whatever resources I can find. Not killing the rabbits, because that's just a waste of time. It's not, but like, it's not always gonna work. It's very rare that you ever get one to get killed. Okay, so we got a new rabbit in the trap. Um, got beefalo just doing their thing. Where do I want to go? I think I want to travel down this road. Because that should probably lead me to something that I that I want a little more, you know. Um, so out of the things I have to like snack on, I think I can eat some berries. Because if I'm correct, they don't really matter if they're cooked or not. Like they do the same things. But cooking does increase its, you know, wellness. How good the food is. So it's good to cook it, but if it's like full, then it's no problem. So anyway, uh, here we have a swamp biome. Those are, those aren't good places. I'm not gonna lie. Swamp biome is a scary place. It's got giant tentacles that kill you in three hits. It's got 
like these frog guys or like giant frogs or something. They hurt. They attack you no matter what. And uh yeah, so gonna get ready to camp out again, but I'm going to still check out some things. Uh I have to walk through this, but as long as I run over the tentacles, it shouldn't matter. So we're going to scope this out, see if there's anything around here. It's like just a really large swamp biome. Uh, there's there's the guys I'm talking about. They're actually called Merms. Don't know why, but that's their name. There's some reeds. Those are good. When do you get into the game later? Uh, yeah, I think I want to get out of here because it looks like it's just going to be one of those really big swamp biomes. Like, sometimes the swamp biomes can be really big. There's a spider, but I don't think I want to go for him. Basically, what I want to do tomorrow, because it seems like I've kind of wasted the day, I mean, I just pretty much filled in the biome over there. So, I mean, that's going to be useful in the future, because it means just less time I have to waste doing it, because it is very useful to have, you know, your map filled out. Um, in terms of where I want to go camp, I might go up here again, just kind of look around this kind of foresty place. I collect sticks because I have not as many of those as I have grass, and sticks are useful too. So berries and flint, all good stuff. How about I go up here? Um, maybe camp out right around here. It's good space, lots of, uh, what, wood, yeah. So I'll create my fire. There are bees around, but as we know, that doesn't really hurt us. Bees are fine unless you attack them, just like in real life, pretty much. Uh, you can't get hurt by them by touching them, you just gotta attack them and then they'll get you, but you're fine until then. So I'm just gonna chop down this tree. There's uh, no problem chopping down these these trees because they aren't gonna turn into a monster if you chop them down. But uh, there are axe broke. Your axe does have durability. Pretty much every tool does. Um, let's pick up some berries because those go bad pretty quick. Can't eat those. Just kind of spam click them and eat them all. Get these three more. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I need to craft a new axe. Let's build that. I've got a 100% axe. Uh, I think going out there would hurt my sanity, so I'm going to put a log in the fire. That'll make it brighter, so I can go out a little farther and chop this tree down without worrying. Okay, there we go. So I did that. Um... We uh, do have birch nuts, which is like it's, like, it's like an acorn. Just kind of plant it wherever and wait for it to grow. There's some fireflies, those come out at night. But those are only used for later. Yeah, you can examine things. Uh, you can examine them and fill my pockets. I don't know what that means, but sure it's something with, to do with have, him having to hold poop. Fuck rock, you know. Uh, just little tad tidbits about what you're holding, what you're examining. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go next? I think I want to go up here, because that shows signs of a rock biome, which is... That's, those are useful for finding rocks. That's what, exactly what I want to find. So, let's go do that. Next biome I find like this, I might plant a couple of birch nuts. You can also eat the birch nuts, but that's, they're not useful as much for eating. They, they help you out, but they're like seeds. Not that great. Um, so with all these guys, I might actually want to set up a trap right around here. Just put it right here, so that when that rabbit comes out, we'll be able to get him. Let's go up here. Uh, there's plenty of grass, which is like what the rabbit traps use up the most, so that's nice to have. Okay. Ooh, there's a wormhole. So a wormhole is like a wormhole, just teleports you somewhere random on the map. Um, I don't find those useful because they drain your sanity when you do teleport. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, look what we found! 
So, Don't Starve is a hardcore game, you know? Um, I didn't tell you that, but it is. If you die, in most cases, you're you're dead forever. You can't really respawn. You just you get your XP and you create a new world. But what we just found allows us a second life. It's a touchstone. So we touch that, and there we go. So when I die, I'm going to respawn here. There's also these pig heads, but I don't know. Those aren't too useful. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What did I just say? That's not true. Oh, those are very useful, but... Don't worry about that. We'll worry about that later. Uh, unfortunately, we have not found any golden rocks yet. That is what's going to make us go further. But we did just find this. This is a pretty useful thing. Excuse me, got a swallow. Ooh. And an evil monster, which I don't want to disturb, because those actually do hurt you quite a bit. Um, yeah. So this road should lead me to a pig village, which is just a bunch of pigs. Um, pigs are in this game, they're like your friends, usually. Uh, let's pick up this flint, because flint is very useful. You really want to have flint at pretty much all times. Okay. If you ever see the frames drop, it's because it's something I have to do with my recording software. Um, just picking some saplings, very useful. And here's another wormhole, but I'm not going to jump in that. Okay. Still no rocks yet, which is too bad. Oh, I should pick the berries, not just like ignore them completely. And how about we murder this rabbit? There we go. Um, there's a butterfly, but you can kill those. Come on, they give you uh, meat. It's very small meat, but it does heal you. Do I not need to help those? I'm not gonna that. And <gasps> really, we already found Chester. Okay, so here's the eye bone. This is like something Don't Starve is iconic for. You pick this up, and you get a friend. Let's see him. There he is. Chester. Basically, what he is is a mobile chest. So you open him, and you store stuff in there. By the way, we're going to step away from these frogs, because they're scary. They're not nice men. They're not nice man. Yeah. They're not nice men. You don't want to play with them, because they'll hurt you. Okay, I'm really not sure to go to get rocks. I know what this is! <laughs> well, I guess I'm picking it from here. So basically, this is like, um... This is a reference to, uh, Don't Starve Shipwrecked, it's a DLC. Wish I could talk to him, but I guess... It's, uh, just some sort of, you know... I don't know what, um, reference to the new DLC for this game. Um... Yeah, looks like I have not found any rocks yet, which is too bad. But I'm going to keep looking. Um, in the beginning of the game, you can camp out pretty much wherever you want. Which is what I'll do. Let's pick some saplings. Um, looks like we've reached an end here. But we can probably go up. Nope, actually. I have found an, a dead end, so that's cool. Just more of our world that's been explored already. Okay. There's a turkey. Those are annoying. They'll eat your berries. They'll go to a berry bush and eat the berries and run. So usually you just want to let him be. Uh, let them eat the berries because berries regrow. Carrots do not. So when you pick those, that's like the only berry you'll get to pick. Um, here, how about I go over here? That should be useful. Oh, look! A koala elephant mound. So with this, like basically you just dig that up and you examine the track and it shows you where a koala fin is, which is a really cool beast. A beast. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cool thing to find. Um they give you a lot of meat when they die, so it's useful. Um as you can tell my sanity's getting a little low, so next time that there is a flower I'll pick right. So that increases our sanity, you know, picking flowers. That increases your sanity. Um, we're gonna kind of... I don't know what to do. Travel here? Sure. Maybe there'll be a golden rock around here. If there is, I will be very happy. Because that is something that we need. It's a golden rock. Oh, it does not look like so. Also, this, this road ends, so that's too bad. But that just means no pig village around here. There probably will be another one somewhere. 
there's some flint, but I have enough. So, gonna run around here and see what I may have missed, because I'm really looking out for those rocks. That's what I'm telling you all the time. Like, those rocks are... It makes you progress, because I'm gonna set you up with... Oh, gosh, those are very scary. They just get out of nowhere. And there's a spider, so we want to run away from that. They don't hurt you until you get close. But we were getting pretty close, so... Didn't want to get eaten. Um, I guess this is a fine place to set up our camp for tonight. Just because there's not anywhere else to go, I don't know. There we go. So now we're safe for the night. We can uh, pick up some saplings, chop down some trees. And we'll do that right now. So, uh, I think that I should end the episode here. It's uh, been a good first episode. We got a lot done. Uh, we got some meat. We got all sorts of stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, we had a good time. We have a good spawn right next to a bunch of stuff. And, um, yeah. So, I guess I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoy it, I guess you could leave a like. But no one's going to do that, let's be honest. So, um, have a good day. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.